not someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. But you have nothing to fear from this one. And he might yet prove useful. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniforms while I've been in here? Patton. Patton Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion. I was sitting here for a long time. Then you showed up in your underwear and things got a lot better. Don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows? Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan return to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know, women. Well, I wasn't there, thankfully. But I heard what she was like during the Mandalorian Wars. And it sounded like she was quick to wipe out anyone who crossed her. Dark Jedi are bad enough. But when a woman falls to the dark side, you better space yourself before they catch you. Ah, uh, no offense or anything. Look, not like your half-naked interrogation isn't a personal fantasy of mine, but... Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? From my beautiful view in the security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. Huh? What are you talking about? So you done interrogating me, or are we going to work together and try to get out of this mess? Well, go ahead and burn your thrusters. If there's been a lockdown, you're trapped pretty nicely on this level. You're going nowhere. Oh, except I have clothes. And this security field is protecting me pretty well from any more outbreaks of poison gas. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. <laughs> 